Concrete 5 has built-in version control for your content edits. So I'm going to quickly show you how that works. We're on the About page of a sample site, and I'm just going to make a few changes to the text here. Put the page in edit mode by clicking the pencil. I'm going to edit some of these blocks, and just make some text changes that we can easily tell. All right, so I've added a quote. And let's say I want to go ahead and make that live. Well, as you probably know, you click the pencil icon and you've got this side panel and you may have just been hitting publish changes, but you can actually add a comment to this version here to remind yourself what changed here. A quote. Now, if I just save these changes, they'll be in the system. I'll see them as an admin, but they won't be live yet. That's what this blue box is telling you. And if I actually switch over to a different browser where I'm not logged in and reload this page, you can see this is still the old page. We're not looking at the change I just made yet because it hasn't been approved. Let's make a couple more changes. Edit this other paragraph. All right, so this is the second set of changes I've made. And I'm going to go ahead and put a version on it. If I publish this change, I'm publishing this whole page as it looked just now, I'm not just publishing the one thing I changed. So I'm going to go ahead and publish it. You can see there's our pull quote. There's some longer text. We don't get that alert when we come to the page saying you're looking at a newer version than what is uh, publicly approved. And if I switch over to a browser where I'm not logged in and reload the page, you can see there it is, I've made the live edit. So it's very simple to update your website. Uh, just like a word processor, if you see something you want to change, you can change it, but you can also roll things back. So let's go to this page's settings icon, that's the little gear, and we'll come down and click on versions. And you can see on the side, here are rows for every version that we've made. The row that is blue is the active version that we're showing the public. Now, if I want to see the difference between these versions, I'll just check a couple. And you can see it adds version 3, version 2 up here. And if I click that, you can see it's reloading the page with those changes. So here's version 2 where we had just changed the pull quote. We still had the lorem ipsum here. And here's version 3 where we changed it. And let's see what it looked like to begin with. I'll throw version 1 in there. There it is with all of them. If I want to roll this back, all I have to do is go to the version I want to have active for the public, click this little arrow, and hit Approve. Now that version is the public version. And if I switch over to my non-logged in browser, you can see we rolled back to version 2. Uh, if you want to clean up old versions, particularly on a page you make a lot of edits to, that's a good idea. Uh, you can do that individually by just going to the version hitting delete, or you can do a bulk select. Um, it won't automatically select the live version, but you can do, if you have many, many, you can do a bulk select and hit delete that way. Uh, additionally, there's two other cool features. Duplicate will take an older version of the page and make a new copy of it as a newer version up here. Uh, this way you can make edits off of something the way it looked in the past while still leaving an earlier version of it approved for the public. And if you're really changing stuff, you can actually take a version and create a whole new page somewhere else in the tree off of it. Uh, so this is now in my drafts and I can kind of take it in a new direction without worrying about that old version of the page. Uh, this would, if you're a developer, this is akin to kind of forking the page and uh, starting a new version tree from it. So hopefully that gives you a little sense as to how versions work on the page. Uh, files in the file manager also have versions that you can explore from within the file manager. Um, and this is an easy way to manage your Concrete 5 site and really feel safe making edits over time, knowing that you can roll things back if you make a mistake.